Hello again, everyone. Uh, I had a request the other day uh, to use another of these one-line drawings. Um, I don't know if you've actually spotted one-line drawings before, but the whole image is made without the writing or drawing implement being taken off the page. It starts at one end and you could follow it all the way around until you get to the other end without taking the, the pencil or the pen or whatever it is off the page. So I've chosen this chap today, another, it's a Santa, they're, they're all Santas, but I've got this chap, I think he looks frightfully jolly, even though he's got no eyes, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So I have decided that I will try and do a five by seven card. This is the piece of card that I'm going to be cutting the panel from, but I don't want to cut the panel just yet because... I may decide that I want the, you know, the stamp in a slightly different place. So I've got a little bit of wiggle room side to side here. But my idea is that I have the Santa in this, this corner down here. Let me just show you. The Santa sort of there. And then down here, I thought I would have a ho, ho and a ho. There's your Santa, there's the ho, ho, ho. Um, I, I don't remember where I got this these these dies from. Ho, ho. It's got a, that's the shadow that I just showed you. That's the shadow. And this is one of the letters. Okay, that's one of these. And they've got little embossed stars on. They're debossed, actually, into this um, O and, and the H. So what I propose doing, I've tried it out here, is to colour them with one of these Spectrum Noir metallic paint markers. This is the broad tipped one. And when you do that, those little debossed stars really jump out. So I'm thinking I'll put those onto that, have them there and the Father Christmas down here. That's the idea, but you know me. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it goes off in a different direction. So we'll kind of see. So first thing I'm going to do is just actually to stamp this um, image. This is the sheet that came with my Ohu markers. And it says at the top here, if you're colouring on thin paper, please put this pad between your colouring sheets to prevent any bleed through. Well, I think that's a brilliant idea. And what a clever thought for those people at the, co the company to, to suggest that you do it. I think that's really good. So I'm putting that um, die away just for a minute. It's one of my Prescott nesting dies. So first thing I'm going to do is to stamp Father Christmas. Now the last time I did one of these one line drawings, it was a picture of a wine glass with a Father Christmas hat on, with a Santa hat on. And the way I coloured it was with um, Distress inks used as paint and I used a brush. But today I want to use my new Ohuhu markers. I'm going to put this here. Uh, and the reason that I think I can use those is because these markers are brush tips. So you can use the brush tip in a similar way to the way you can use a brush. My Nouveau markers, I'll just show you the difference. If I can get it, I'll use a dark colour so it shows up. Here's the black Nouveau marker. And it's got kind of a bullet tip. Whereas, let's use the black one of these. Can you see? It's got a really fine point. This is the bullet. This is a brush. So... I think because they've got a brush tip, I should be able to do the same sort of technique with markers that I did with a brush before. So there we go. Here's my, isn't he lovely? So I've got out a few colours. I'm, I'm getting used to where they are. I vaguely know the area I'm looking now, which is, which is a step forward. So the first thing I'm going to do, when I colour this chap, it's going to be kind of swipes of colour. I'm not going to colour to the lines. It's going to, this is kind of free. 
So the way I'm going to colour it is, is also kind of free. So I'm not going to go up to the lines. I'm just going to give a, a sort of a swish. So here's his face and I'm just going to do that. Do you know, and I think that's enough. Would you believe it? Now, I've got two colours here. <laughs> These, look at the colour of them. Those are to be Santa's coat. And you think to yourself, what is she playing at? But if I look at my chart, this one, R2, R2D2, is there, which is actually red, not pink. This one... It's called Peony RV250, which is there. RV250, it's there, which is a deep sort of purpley colour. But let's just see what happens, shall we? OK. I'm really enjoying these pens, I have to say. Um, several people have said to me that they intend getting them. Um, if you do intend getting them, there's loads of places you can get them from. But if you get them directly from the company, they have a few little incentives. I got, because I bought, I wanted to buy some fine liner pens, the sort of thing that would have drawn that actually. And because I bought those, I got about £30 off my set of markers. And I wanted to buy, they, they make some um, bamboo racks to put the um the markers in and because i bought two they gave me a third one free which is then enough to house the whole of my 320 set which is brilliant and they also threw in a big old tote bag so you know i was very pleased very pleased indeed if you do want to get them direct from the company just just mail me and i'll i'll send you a, a link um or message me whatever anyway here we go here's my rv 250 which is a really dark colour. I'm just going to wipe round here, just to make sure I don't get my fingers in it. Oh, it's dry, it's fine. Right, now I'm just going to put some shadow on. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to come under his arm there, in that crease. I'm going to put a bit of shading there. A little bit here and here. Round his arm. In his hat. You think, what is she doing? Okay. Now for the R2. Vermilion, it's called. Now I'm just going to put... Now I'm going to blend.
Now, if you can see, I've just touched. I'm still getting used to holding these pens. That's my excuse. Just touched a little bit of the white there. So what I'm going to do is get a fine liner. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to put my glasses on for a start. Just go underneath it, which means it's it's now included. It's now in that shape. Okay. Likewise there. Okay. Now you wouldn't have thought that would look turn out that colour, would you really? So oh I need to do his, his hand, a bit of his arm here. That's enough. Okay. Now his belt. I'm just going to use black. Now, a little bit of shading, I'm going to do, this is um, CG020, and I'm just going to do a little bit of shading on his cuffs, down his gloves, under here, on his cuff, on his hat, band, down his beard, bit of hair, tiny bit on his bit on his moustache and I think actually this bit needs a bit of something dark in doesn't it it's just it hasn't got the bit of shading that it needs a bit of depth of colour so I'll just blend that in again there we go it's interesting this is just my um regular card stock but isn't that interesting how those colours have kind of gone together? Okay, now let's try and sort um, my letters. So, if I hold this, you see, I, I think it's okay about there. Let's just see. These are cut twice and stacked. So, I think I'm going to keep them white. I might have to move it that way a little bit. This is the reason why I didn't actually, let me move it up a bit. I think it's going to have to go as high as that. Now, these are some that I've coloured. I can get them out my little pot. There we go. Um, I've coloured the H's to go on there. And I'll show you how I coloured them when I do the O's. Ho, ho, ho. So here are my O's. And what I coloured them with was this Spectrum Noir metallic paint marker. So I'll just use a bit of, um, let's move this out of the way for a minute. I'm going to do a bit more blending there in a minute. I've just spotted when you look again. Right, this is the, the three, three different size nibs in a set and this is the broad one. It's like a chisel tip. So all I'm, oops, all I'm doing is just going over the shape. So you can use any old strap scraps for this. And it dries really quite quite quickly. And the texture it leaves is it's lovely. It's not like a a mirror card that's super shiny. I've got a bit of texture from my linen cardstock on this which is really nice. So Yeah, a bit come it came off on my on my thumb, but it's it's not too bad. I could hold it with a a pokey tool or something. I th in fact, I think I will. 
a lot easier and you can see what I'm doing better. So those three are going to go onto the Ho 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 and I think that's kind of going to be it. So let me first just cut this. That's where I wanted it, as high as that, didn't I? I'll cut this out. I've got some new plates. I don't know where the other ones are. I'm going to pop some mylar over the die just to stop it from marking my new plates too much. Okay. my panel. I'm really rather careful this way of colouring. I, I, I need to improve with the those particular markers but um, nevertheless. Okay that's going to go on there like that. Let's stick my ho ho ho's on first of all. I think I'll stick the letters on first before I and then just do them in one go. So Let's stick the H's on first. That's my glue. I don't know if there's a right way up and a wrong way up, actually. Something hit the floor. I don't know what that was. I did wonder about putting it on black, but I think black would be a bit too heavy for the rest of the, of the front of the card, so white it is. Okay, there's one. And the next one. Right. Stick these on here. <laughs> makes me smile. I really like it. Now, if I'm ever sticking three of something on, what I would do is stick the top one on, and here I'm getting it, I've got the same space to the top and the side. Next one I'm going to do is the bottom one. And the bottom one is going to be the same sort of distance away from the bottom and the side and then the last lastly I'll do the middle one and try and get it equidistant between them okay now the middle one I know a lot of people use a ruler but I tend to eyeball 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 things because I don't know I move a ruler or goodness knows what and I finish up with it not as well placed as if I'd just done it by looking at it. Right, ho, 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 there we go. And I think that can go onto there, perhaps with a bit of foam tape. Does it need it? I don't know if it needs it, actually. I'll stick it on directly. Look, there was some bleed through, can you see? And that's just with card, not paper, card. There we go. So be warned, don't, don't do your colouring on something that matters <laughs> just uh, beware stuff grabs as easily as um, the, the foam tape does it's got the same sort of stuff on it so if you're trying to position this uh, a tape runner onto a card front if you don't get it right first time it would be if you're very often stuck straight away so there we go I don't know what you think but uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of liking oh I wanted to do that little bit of 
should have done this before I stuck it on really, just a little bit of blending just there. Okay. So, there we go. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas is coming. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, do subscribe and uh, come back and see me next time. Bye for now.